Now have a look at this thread right here. Look at this. This is off-road perfection in my opinion and this is why I just had to get those sandals. Those are the Zero Zoos Z-Trail EVs. I think the EVs are the ones with this sole right here that you can see. Now they have the big lugs for traction on loose surfaces but they also have the smaller lugs and those are soft. Those are hard, those are soft. So those will grip on rocks, wet rocks, whatever. And of course, on at the edges here, more closely bunched lugs for traction in the wet and in the front. So that's why I had to get those sandals because in my opinion, hybrid sole designs are what you need. Because there is no way, even if you're only off-road or only on the road, but especially only off-road, that, that it's always going to be the same stuff underneath your feet. This is good for snow. This is good for snow and ice. Wet rocks. This is good for solid surfaces. I mean, it's all kinds of good. And I have to say, this absolutely works. You will not, like, you will not believe the traction those can offer off-road, even on like soft... Uh, soil and stuff It's just amazing. I don't know what to say, but first we have to talk about the elephant in the room The only reason this is still here and I haven't cut the edges yet Is that I had to make this video Now this is the problem with indie companies of course big companies also do it But small companies from every anything from like clothing to suits video games They will do some weird shit and you don't know why like this makes no sense this is a huge like look how streamlined and how good looking with this sole look what this sandal looks like this is awesome but then they go on an at least huge anesthetic buckle here and i guess they did it because they want the you, you they wanted you to be able to adjust the tension from this side as well so you adjust the tension on the toes i get that but there are so like there are so many designs, more streamlined designs they could have done to avoid this huge thing just being there. And the thing is, it's not only a visual problem; it is a functional problem. Your pinky toe will absolutely rub on the edge here, and after a while, it's gonna get painful. And you know, one pain in footwear, especially barefoot footwear, is supposed to be wide to accommodate for your toes. My little toes just get jammed up here again and again and again. It's not a sizing issue. If those were a bit bigger, it would probably be even worse. Those are slightly small, but they're not really small because sandal sizing is very peculiar in general. I will make a video about this. But let me just say, this, I will be trimming it down because it's just annoying and it looks horrible. So I will trim both sides, even though this is not functional. I have to trim it down because it just looks so bad. Like, look how nice and streamlined this is going straight into the footbed. Here as well. Here as well. And all of a sudden you have this huge thing. And trust me, you can see that. You can see that from miles away. So, yeah. just Those look so good. Like, the lacing, the coloration here. They have also the forest color. Now, the price, I got them a discount for like 50 euros. Now they're like 90. I'm not sure they're worth 90. But Zero Suits in general, even though I would like for this channel to some, at some point be affiliated with some companies, I have to be honest with you, Zero Suits in general, quality, durability is there, it's proven, durability is there, they even have a like, sole quality, but the quality is a bit, I don't know, I will be making a video about sizing and I will be talking about the quality as well. But I'm not sure you can justify 90 euros for this, really. I don't think they buy this from le for less than... Anyway, I'll just... I'm not gonna say a price, but... 50 euros is fair, in my opinion. You know what else? Earthrunners, handmade, not in a factory in China. Handmade in California, 50 euros as well. Like, at best, those are the same quality. I mean, I can't... I mean, they're not, but... I just cannot justify more than 50 euros for this. And 
now that I'm talking about their strands, let's say something, because I'm gonna have to do some comparisons with other standards so you get what we're talking about. Earth runners I have not reviewed yet, but I will. When it comes to the footbed, you do need a thicker footbed when you go on off-road for like scrambling and running or long hikes. I don't care how tough you think you are. This thing, it will fatigue you. Maybe you can take it, fine, but thicker footbed is good. Let me just say, I did some crazy downhill scramble on rocks and stuff with this, I could not feel anything. Like I can feel the ground, but I could not feel any pain. And that is extremely important. So, but when it comes to the feeling, those guys with the canvas top, they feel a lot better than those. Those, they kind of feel too soft. And I think this uh, spongy material on top, it's gonna soak up water probably. If you do like river crossings, but it should provide enough traction. I mean, I just got them wet because I had to clean them. But uh, yes, yeah, there should be enough traction. But footbed feeling, I prefer the earth runners, like for sure. Of course, those are thong sandals. Thong sandals, they will rub between your two toes and they're not as stable in the front. This kind of sandal is much more stable in the front because there is nowhere for your foot to go. And up and down motion, the backside will stop it. And now that I mentioned this, these guys, you will not be able to put them on without this scratching thing. You have to open it up and when you open it up, and you, because you have to stretch it enough for your foot to go in, it will slide out of this and you will have to like put it through again unless you're extremely careful. That's a bit annoying. Those are not very easy to put on, but when you put them on and you like get them nice and tight, those are the best thing you can go off-roading, in my opinion. This thread is no joke. I mean, I'm, I was going so fast downhill. I'm like, my friend was there with freaking Nikes, whatever. I was, like, I was going like probably twice as fast as him. And I, there, there was nothing. There was no slippers. Like, varied terrain, like rocks and needles and all this and that. Nothing. And also, I don't have... Uh, God, I mean... Do you know the spiky things that are like uh, a, a ball of spikes? Not the ball of spikes, like a weird angle shape. Those will go through. Do I even have those? I just, I, I had to keep it because I found it on this sandal. Anyway, some of the big spiky things, I don't know how to describe them, but maybe I'll find one. Um, they will go straight through the sole of like a vapor glove. You will feel it like poking your your sole of, the, of your foot and it's gonna be painful with this guy's thick sole it's gonna stop it it's gonna stop thorns whatever it's gonna stop everything man and I don't care who you are things that will go through your skin are going to ruin your day and your hike and your run and whatever you need a more protective protective sole for most of this stuff now of course I did make a review on the Genesis here the Genesis series a thousand times easier to put on obviously but it's not as stable as this because different lacing those are more elastic and stuff but also the typical zero off-road is trail is not the actual off-road like the actual off-road is this which is the same on the alpine but unfortunately the alpine and the mesa trails they do not have the varied sole which in my opinion is amazing i hope eventually they will like come out with an alpine ev mesa trail ev whatever you need this sole i'm telling you this is some of the best stuff i've tried probably the best actually i would say and yeah this kind of off-road is sole on this sandals it's actually slippery especially if it's a bit sandy and stuff i have a review of those i had like a slip twice on this review and it's just i thought it would be amazing but it's not this this is what you need so yeah, I also have the clouds here, same sole again. Um, I will be making a comparison between all those sandals, but to stick, like even the sole, like this is a Vibram sole, but it's not the same. There is no comparison of road. There is just no comparison. So yeah, just to sum it up, this best sole you can get, in my opinion, at least in sandals. Very nice design, very streamlined. I actually think it looks amazing, but this thing, it ruins everything. When it, when they come out with a version, I hope they do, without this, 
I'm gonna be right on it. I'm gonna have to pay more money, but it is what it is. I wish I could just keep those forever, but this thing, I mean, I'm gonna trim it down, but the thing is, you cannot really trim it down too much, because if you go too close to the laces, eventually you're gonna snap. So it has to be thick, but they just have to make it streamlined, otherwise just shove it in the footbed and figure it out. I don't know. This is a mistake here. This thing is a mistake. No, no question about it. This is not supposed to be here. And there are reviews by other people as well that mention this. That is an issue now. Sizing. Zero shoe sizing. I'm going to make a video. It's very, very, very confusing. They supposedly don't provide centimeter lengths, which is the only objective measure because they think it's not good enough. But obviously it's better than some arbitrary numbers like, oh, I mean, size 45. That doesn't mean anything. I'm like, I'm size 43.5 in some boots, size 45 some other things, size 45.5 some Nikes, doesn't mean anything. Those are size 43s. Those are size 44s. Those are too big. Those are size 43 as well, they're fine. And those are size 43, maybe slightly smaller because they have this cup in the back. I mean, whatever, they say they don't provide CM measurements, listen, the Japanese measurements, you will see they have the JP on the sides, guides, this is a CM measurement, they will deny it, but it is what it is, and it's accurate when it comes to the sandals, this is Japanese 28cm, and it is a 28cm uh, shoe, sandal, whatever, when it comes to the closed shoes, then it starts to become inaccurate. But when it comes to this, just know that uh, they also have templates for the standard, so it should be quite easy to just print it out. But yeah, whatever it says on the JP sizing, that's what the centimeter length is. In sandals, you should go up maybe half a centimeter for your, from your foot length, because the back of your foot, the heel will not prot protrude, it will protrude over the sandal, and like a closed shoe where it's gonna push your foot forward. So you don't need as much space. Some people even get them shorter. Some people don't even care if like the toes hang out from the top, whatever. It's a preference thing, but I would say it's just go half a centimeter longer than your foot. Total foot length, I mean. And this cup here, they also have it on the clouds. Now, this is supposed to be there so that you don't um, have stones and stuff get inside the sandal. Nah, this is pretty funny though, because there is no way that's gonna stop anything. First of all, I mean, even like actual closed shoes will get stones inside, like stones will just flip up and get in. This is not stopping anything. And worst, worst of all, it's gonna keep whatever goes in, will stay in, because you will not be able to get it out through the back. Like you're gonna shake your foot around, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna have to go through your foot, you're gonna have to put toes in there. Or actually, you just have to get used to stuff being in your, in, your, in your sandal because that's the way it is. So I think that's more of a problem than a good thing. It could be useful maybe when you're scrambling downhill so you don't scratch your heel and stuff. This will stop it. But also, when you have tight sizing like I have chosen, you will feel this sometimes and it's going to be annoying. Like on an uphill, you're going to feel your, your heel touching this. And it's going to be annoying. So maybe just remove it altogether, I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, this no reason, but it looks good on this one, because this is a bulky sandal, so it looks good. Now, so just remove this, keep this incredible sole, hopefully get it in the rest of the off-roader models as well. And yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be super fine, super fine. Just an amazing sandal overall. Oh, like, just recommend it 100%, get it. This sole, just like I saw it in the pictures, it delivers, it's amazing, so just give it a try if you're looking for sandals. Otherwise, of course, you can get super minimalist sandals, uh, Genesis, Earth sandals, whatever. So many options, I will be making comparisons. So that's it for now. I'm gonna see you in the next one. See you.